All right, my friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're looking at Todd Gurley. It's a running back, I'm excited about that, but I'm also excited to hear why he's gone from the Rams to the Falcons. Now, as far as I was concerned, he was absolutely killing it. Not only as a, a rushing running back, but also a receiving running back. And he wasn't just your average running back, was he? With the low center of gravity, as he takes the tackle, as he takes that contact, he just seems to be able to stay on his feet, he seems to be able to break tackles better than other running backs his size. So with all those things combined, let's get into the video. Running right through the defender. Look at this is one, two, three, hitting guys, dragging guys. See what I mean? We're going to apply pressure all day. See? What the fuck, bro? He went from five to 51. Why? Todd Gurley, 1994, six foot one, 225 pounds. Pick 10 in the first round of the 2015 draft. Played at the Rams for four seasons, then went to the Falcons. Although he appeared in most of Los Angeles games, his workload and production decreased and he was released after the 2019 season, just two years after signing a US $60 million extension. While he made three Pro Bowls and a Super Bowl appearance for the Rams, Gurley became marred by leg injuries during the latter part of his tenure. So he's had injury problems. Gurley had, on oh, March, March 2nd, 2019, it was reported that Gurley had arthritis in his left knee. Uh, he may have been claiming he was healthy when he really wasn't. And in the 2020 season, holy shit, he was released. Okay, so he was released on March 19th this year, which is a couple of months before this video came out. So let's watch that, let's see what they tell us, and then let's read the rest. Let's go, 3 0. Found a way. Found a way. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. That's Aaron Donald. It seems as if his enthusiasm for, for Todd Gurley and what he can do on the field was waning at that point. He's like, just find a way, man, just do something. It's like, it's almost as if Todd Gurley hadn't been performing. And the team, including Aaron Donald, including the captain of the defense, is actually losing faith in what Todd Gurley can produce. That's, that's what I felt. He always finds a way to get the job done. Untouched! He's got the pylon! Todd Gurley! He became the first player in Rams history to score 13 or more touchdowns in three consecutive seasons. Although he dropped out of the top five, his peers still recognize him as a top 100 player. <laughs> Shit, man, I've got to say, we're a minute and 35 into this video, but I've seen more highlights, more real, real-time game highlights from Todd Gurley than I've seen from any other player on this list. I actually really, really enjoyed that, and I'm sorry, Todd. I take back anything I said about you not performing, because it seems as if Aaron Donald actually meant do what you always do and find a way. And he is finding a way, but I do need to look at his stats for last year. So he went 1,106 yards in his rookie year, 885, 1,305, 1,251. So in 2019, which is last year, he had 223 attempts for 857 yards at an average of 3.8, which is not his worst, but it's under par. He had 12 touchdowns, still, 12 rushing touchdowns, and they still let him go because of his injuries. He's played for Atlanta this year. He's played 12 games so far. He is down on production at 645 yards from 181 attempts, but he does still have nine rushing touchdowns, and I like that, bringing his total to 67 for his career. Gurley 
whole trunk's a big game, but usually it backs it up. He knows what everyone is doing, and I think that was... He finds a way. Yeah, it's a lot to compete, and it's a lot block, and a lot of running ball, catch the ball out of the backfield. Todd Gurley! Actually, yeah, let me have a look at his receiving stats. Because in 2017, he had over 2,000 all-purpose yards. 1,305 from, from rushing and 788 from receiving. This year, not so much. He's got 98. 98 yards. They haven't been targeting him very much. Looking like his all-pro self. He's a guy you want out there. He can do it all, including offering his He is a guy you want out there. And, and one thing I do want to say is that, uh, well, is that Mike Tyson or is that Flowers? He can do it all including offering his teammates great advice. Go, son. Cooper Cup. Something he does all too well. And this upcoming season, he's taking his stiff-arming talents to Atlanta. That he is. Anytime you're playing against Gurley, you have to know the stiff arm is coming. So you either have to knock that hand down or go straight for the knees. If you opt for plan C, well, look, I don't know if you're going to go straight for the knees, but at least go for the waist. That's nice, man. See, now he's not like... <laughs> he's not going to be your Derek Henry, where he literally grabs that helmet and fucking forces the face into the ground. But he's certainly got an effective stiff arm. See, we call that a fend in the game of rugby, right? It's a nice fend. Fend to the face. A fend on the shoulder, a fend to the throat, would probably have to be one of the most spectacular to see. Um, can you imagine that? A tackler coming in, full force, probably too high, the stiff arm comes out and literally, you know, grabs him right on the throat. His feet just get completely taken out from under him and he gets slammed into the ground. I've probably seen that like three or four times in the game of rugby and it is absolutely spectacular. I think Sonny Bill Williams might have done that actually. In fact, in fact, before we go, I'm going to try and look that up. Greatest fiend ever, Sonny Bill Williams. Let's have a look. Oh, that was a good one. I'm hoping we get some, um, oh my God. We'll find it here. I fucking love Sonny Bill Williams, by the way. He's one of my favorite rugby players of all time. And if we can find this fiend in high quality, uh, it's, it's going to be a cracker. It's going to be an absolute cracker. There we go. Oh, mate, look at that. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Now, now Sonny Bill Williams is bigger than Derek Henry. Look at that, way too high, way too high, slammed right in the throat, in fact we'll call that a throat slam. His feet are taken way out from under him, he's got no power, nothing behind that tackle. And yet he's coming up against a 6 foot 4, 120 kg monster in Sonny Bill Williams. Sorry mate. Anyway, back to Todd Gurley. That would not be good, eh? Fuck, you'd feel embarrassed. If your kids are watching your game and you got stiff arm right to the ground. You would. You would. And I guess it's at times like that where you've, you sort of wish that you hadn't raised your kids to be smart asses because they're not going to let you live that down. Play of the season happened in his new home in front of his new fans. Hey, Dad, remember that time that you got stiff armed into the ground? All the way, lots of ball to Gurley, out of the backfield, over the shoulder! With one of the great catches of his career. The success started from you know his understanding of the game. He tries the left side. A vicious stiff arm. He probably got no kids watching this game. His daddy got stiff arm. To be honest, that was pretty much as spectacular as the one before. I'm not gonna lie. He's got a stiff arm. His best play of the season happened in. What did he say? His best play of the season happened in his new home, in front of his new fans. 
Looking right all the way. Lobs the ball to Gurley. Out of the backfield. Over the shoulder. He brings it in. Todd Gurley with one of the great catches of his career. The success started from, you know, his understanding of the game. And he just had his athletic ability to just take over from there. And he's by far one of the top three backs in this league. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Oh, it's up, man. Your boy is back. Your boy is back. Okay. That was cool. He's playing for Atlanta. He's 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 still being productive. I mean, he's he's starting games, right? He's a starting running back, which is good. Good to hear. Um, I just hope that he can bring it back and and you know smash out another thousand yards next season. And I reckon he's certainly capable of it. So I give him all my support. I say, Todd Gurley, I want to see you in the top 50 next year. But you didn't quite make it this year. Anyways, guys. That was enough of that. In the next one, we're looking at a Colts player. And believe it or not, we are in the top half. We did it. We actually did it. It's Darius Leonard. I do not have a Colts jersey, so I'm going to keep this one on. With that in mind, I'll see you soon. Can't believe we're doing this. I'm going to keep going. This is a point where I'd usually stop for the day, but I'm not going to. Because I've got a nice cup of coffee. And at the end of the day... <clears throat> and at the end of the day, guys, it, as I look through this list... There's basically going to be very, very few players that don't pique my interest, okay? More than what I've seen previously. And that makes for a very exciting list. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, thank you for your support. It means a lot. Like the video if you've liked it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.